Hi everyone, um, and good day to you. That you're a member of a youth group, WhatsApp group, or NGO coalition groups, some business association, and also uh, residence association. Because I mean, when you have a whole lot of groups, they, this is where uh, such kind of fake messages and misleading or unverified information have been uh, passed around. So um, the first type of information you might want to get one could be uh, you conducting a secondary fact check uh, and what that means is that um, there are already some websites already that are looking out for fake news or debunking uh, fake news um, especially stories uh, that have been shared in Nigeria and an example of that is um, so you can actually go to the Nigeria Center for Disease Control website or their Twitter handle. Um, they do some debunking as well. Also, um, Dubawa is also a popular website that is being, yeah, I mean, being used to debunk um, um, misleading, false, unverified news around uh, the country. So, I mean, the website looks like this. Um, then you can think of checking out um, AFP Fact Check. It now currently has a Nigeria um, extension, which you can check. Also, the International Center for Investigative Reporting does that as well. Um, Africa Check, um, they have been, I mean, debunking um, fake news for quite a while now. So you might want to also check Africa Check. They also have those... Uh, fake news uh, about COVID-19 so um, if you probably see one just like this um, it might be interesting it might be an interesting report that you can create a report uh, from so that's that's how the secondary fact check looks like um, there are other sources as well which we provide a link to here where you can get uh, facts that have been uh, debunked. Um, so the primary fact check, which is actually um, the major work for this team, is to look out for misleading information that have been shared on several instant messages platform. And um, it's just for you to, yeah, I mean, look out for it and, and be able to copy those messages out of those kind of platforms uh, could be a whatsapp platform uh, could be uh, instagram uh, so it's just for you to copy that and and how do you actually uh, here we will provided like uh, six steps for you to know if it's a fake news or not um, one is for you to consider the source does it have a source um, or are you familiar with the source and, and um, one way is to always, yeah, I mean, ask for the source. People that forward these messages do not put source, so you can ask for that. Second way is to read beyond the headline. Um, yeah, I mean, they normally put these uh, fantastic headlines, uh, but uh, you should read in within the information itself. Does it have an author? Who exactly is the author? So that you can search in Google uh, if the person is... Uh, an auto uh, actually uh, what are the supporting sources of the information is there a name given a need of a news agency that you can check on or or a research institute that said that so you can go for them check it 
uh, and the fifth point is for you yes i mean when there's a name inside the information it's important that you also double check the reference go and find out if that reference actually um, said such thing as that yes we also have bias ourselves so we need to also second check our own bias as well and make sure we're not biased about uh, some stories that have been shared but i mean we have a skype room once you get such messages so the instant message you can post it in the whatsapp in the um, in the skype room chat of uh of the team uh, you can also um if you want to learn how to fact check i mean there are several uh, stories that have been written in Africa check um, some references have been given here so please feel free to use those references uh, as well but uh, so for example assuming we have been able to copy up this from a whatsapp group um, this is a new story that was just shared on one of the whatsapp platform that I belong to just this morning and it was saying yes a vaccine from China just arrived at Niger Airport a few hours ago. So, um, as I mean, I want to create this. It's already on my text page. So I go to my, um, uh, I go to the map itself and I log in in order to create the report. So um, this is the platform here. Yeah, I mean, you would have gotten access already and um, you must have been accessed as an instant mess. So you see this plus sign, you can just click on it and boom, you definitely would want to start by putting, creating a title for it. Uh, another way to look at it is to let's quickly go back to our map so that I don't create a report that has been created before. Um, just save fake news and click on this and say show only fake news. Go to data. And it's going to show you all the fake news that has been posted, right? So you just check the other, and if it's not there, then you can go ahead and post. Um, so create a title. I will say, don't forget, I'm creating for this news. So new vaccines just arrived. From China, and I'll copy all this, then you can get to put
That's it. You've just completed the report, then you submit. So, yes, it shows, and you can see there's no name of the person showing. So, yeah. So, you just have it in this format. It has been submitted. So, the very fine team would actually um, see this and will be able to review it and and send it uh, upwards to the map. So thank you, I hope this is useful. Uh, just once again, if you come across something that you need to uh, get some answers to, please post it on the uh, Skype chat room of the Instant Message team. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe.